so in this playlist we're going to be looking at some things to do with quadratic sequences now you've come across sequences loads and loads of times before and this is kind of like the last time that you look at sequences in GCSE before you return to it in A level so we've got a few kinds of sequences you're probably already familiar with this is an example of an arithmetic or a linear sequence because you can just clearly see what's happening here each time we're just moving along one space we're adding on five each time and hopefully you can remember that the nth term of this is 5n minus 3. This is an example of a geometric sequence because whilst this one was adding on five each time this one is not adding on each time it is actually multiplying each time by three. So the end term of this one, you don't need to know how to find, but you can try and see why you think this one is going to be related to this end term. And this power with the three part is the stuff that's representing it's multiplying by three each time. You've also got some non-linear, or in this particular case, a type of Fibonacci sequence. And the nth term of this actually is a little bit difficult to define. It's much easier to define one of these ones by the positions. So to find this position, you add up the two previous ones. So five is equal to two plus three, and eight is equal to the two before it. Eight is equal to three plus five, and 13 is equal to five plus eight. And actually you cover these, called, these things called recurrence relations in a bit more detail when you get to A level, but we're not gonna tap into that right now because it goes a little bit beyond the course. And then we have a quadratic sequence here and you can see why it's called a quadratic sequence because the nth term looks like a quadratic. And remember in the nth term n is relating to the position that you have here. Now just to quickly explore what's happening is a quadratic kind of feels like it might have something like to do with an arithmetic to begin with. So we're going to just explore what's happening with these ones. Between the 2 and the 7 it seems to have increased by 5 between the seven and the 14 by seven, the 14 and the 23, it's gone up nine, between the 23 and the 34, it's gone up 11. So each time it's increasing, it's increasing by a little bit more. And actually each time these are increasing, they're going up by two. So the fact that you have got this, this is called the second difference, this is the first difference. The second difference being constant is the thing that makes this a quadratic sequence. If you can find the difference of the first set and then find the difference of those, if they are all the same as each other, then you end up with a quadratic. So let's have a look at some quadratic sequences here and see if we can find the next two terms in these ones. I'm going to do A, B and C and then I want you to have a go at doing D, E and F. So I'm just going to keep um, each time, I'm just going to work out what they're going up by each time. It's going to help me work that out. So 6 to 7, it's going up by 1. 7 to 11 is going up 4. 11 to 18, it's going up 7. And so 1 to 4 is going up 3. 4 to 7 is going up 3. So I need the next one to make it go to 10, because to go from 7 to 10 is going up 3. So the next number is going to be 28. And then I need it to go up by... 13 because between 10 and 13 it's going up by 3. So 28 plus 33 is 41. So the next two numbers, the next two terms in this quadratic sequence are 28 and 41. Okay, between minus 10 and 0 it's going up 10. Between 0 and 20 it's going up 20. Between 20 and 50 it's going up 30. So it looks like the second difference it's going up by 10 each time. So it needs to go up by 40 to 90 and then it's going to need to go up 50 to 140. Yep, they're going to have a common difference consistently 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 going up by 10 each time. Now of course they can go down. So this time it is decreasing. So it's going down 2, then it's going down 5, then it's going down 8. And so these are decreasing each time by 3. So the next time I'm going to want it to go down 11 and 15 take away 11 is 4 and then I'm going to want it to go down 14 so that that pattern is consistent and 4 take away 14 is minus 10. Okay, so there's three questions here that I want you to have a go at. It's all about finding that consistent pattern in that second difference here and here and here. So see if you can try these ones. Pause the video and have a go, and I'm going to let you check your answers afterwards. So between the 8 and the 12, it's going up 4, then it's going up 6, then it's going up 8. So you can pretty much guess it's going to go up 10, and then 12, meaning it's 36 and 48, just to confirm this uh, first difference is increasing by 2 each time. 
to go from the minus 10 to minus 5, it's increasing by 5, then it's increasing by 9, then it's increasing by 13, so between 5 and 9 has gone up 4, between 9 and 13 has gone up 4, not 14, so it's going to have to go up 4, which means 17, so 17 plus 17 is 34, and then it's going to go up 4 again, so it needs to go up 21, so it's going to go up 55, so we've got 34 and then 55. And then the last one's an example of some decreasing. So 55 to 30, it's going down 25. Then it's going down 20. Then it's going down 15. Ah, so from 25 to 20, it's actually increasing by 5. Increasing by 5. So the next one is going to have to decrease by 10. So minus 5 minus 10 is minus 15. And then hopefully you can predict that this next one is going to be increasing so that it's subtracting 5. So it's going to be minus 20 for that one that you've got there. So again, you can see the consistency of the second difference here was 2, here it was 4, and here it was increasing by 5 in this case. So although it was still a decreasing sequence, the second difference was actually increasing. So eventually these are going to go into positive numbers and the sequence is going to go back up again. And that's kind of because a quadratic will go down and then it will come back up again. This, this that I'm drawing here is a parabola, a quadratic. These just happen to look quite similar to it. Sometimes people do these as like little V-shapes instead of the curves. It doesn't really matter how you want to draw those at all, okay? So in the next video, we're going to be using the nth term to generate these sequences, and you're going to need your calculator for this because I'm going to show you a good trick about how to use your calculator. Found this video helpful? Then why not drop it a like and consider subscribing to my channel? If you'd like the next video in the playlist, you can click here to be taken straight to it. And as always, wishing you the very best for all your studies.